The whole country's gone absolutely nuts right now. Bunnings sausage sizzle outrage has swept the whole country. A new occupational health and safety requirement has changed the way that sausages in bread will be prepared at all Bunnings warehouse stores nationwide. Now, recently, you may have noticed that the fried onion can no longer be placed on top of the sausage, which is normal because we're not savages. It is now underneath the sausage. Right. So many people get their sausage and go, oh, they, you forgot the onion, guys. And they hand it back and they go, no, 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 Dallin. Mm. The onion's under the sausage. Have a look underneath the snag. Safety, is, they say that safety is always our number one priority. And we recently introduced a suggestion that onion be placed underneath the sausages to help prevent the onion from falling out and creating a slipping hazard for people who come to Bunnings okay, stores. Okay, okay, okay. So this is not a burning thing. No, no it's a slipping. This is a trip thing. slipping thing. Okay, that's different. Personally, I believe that the onions belong underneath the sausage. What? You would. Beca- what are you saying? So Be- you are so weird. No, I'm so right. Because if you lift, when you bite into the sausage, the onions fall out the back. And if they're underneath, they're being held in place by the by the sausage. No, this no, is no, a no, real no, no. this is no, a great all, thing. Think about the no. construction great of thing. the bread. You want a lower center of gravity. You want the the heaviest thing to be in the in the bottom of your palm. You don't want to have the snag on top because then it's top heavy and it just topples. This is so you weird. I would say it. that We've... the first the first bit of taste that you want mm. and texture mm. is the crunchy onioniness. Then you mm. want to bite into the sausage. To lead you into so the it's second all stage. About the, okay. The, Order of flavour. <laughs> Order of like flavor. Like it's been done Order for of hundreds of thousands of years. <laughs> hundreds and thousands of years. Back when the blacksmiths were handing out sausages <laughs> to Robin Hood. Okay. Do we need to pray for the person who who who, who slipped on a little orange, you know, little onion oh, sliver that led to, no this, one to has. this policy? No one's ever slipped on an onion. But, that, but you know what? You We know what people are like these days. So Bunnings are getting ahead of themselves here. That's thinking, true, they You know are. what? We don't want... We don't want sausage sizzles to be cancelled forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So knowing that some diz mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. head mm-hmm. is going to maybe either lie about tripping on an onion or legitimately oh, trip on an sue onion, them. sue them, and then mm. no one can have sausage sizzles, sales will decline. So what can we do to get ahead of this problem? We'll just put them under. I don't what? mind it. Hang on, but what, who's to say that a, a dollop of sauce or mustard can't just fall onto the ground as well and be just as slippery as an onion sliver? Well, because what they're going to do, is, if you read on, uh, they're going to hand you the bread with the sausage on top and then the onion underneath, and then you move to a secondary station where you open your mouth and they squirt the sauce in direct. I like that. <laughs> What a job. I love that. <laughs> oh, more please. I'd pay, I'd pay an extra 50 cents for that. So, uh, is this a thing? Have you, Has anyone ever been injured by food? Have you been injured by food in your life? Because if it is a problem, perhaps yeah. there's other dangerous foods out there that we need to be aware of. Once got a bit of chicken stuck in the back of my nose for a week. Whoa, it wow. smelled so bad by the time we got it out. Oh. Why, were you, why were you snorting nuggets? I wasn't. I <laughs> laughed while I was eating a chicken sandwich and I went up the back of my throat into the back of my nose and just stayed there. Yeah. I ate a cricket once when I was in China and his leg got stuck in my throat and I had to find a hospital that could retrieve it with some tweezers. You went to a Chinese hospital. Yeah, that was risky. Don't they use chopsticks to get those out in China? <laughs> not racist. <laughs> put it not in. racist. Why? It's legit. I'm saying, I'm saying. Good for reach. For people listening going, racist. I'm saying not racist. Not racist. Oh, I don't care if they think that.